Uh, today's heading is measuring earthquakes. Measuring earthquakes. Um, we're going to talk destruction by earthquakes. Uh, first of all, you better write this down. A seismologist studies earthquakes. Remember, anything seismology, we're talking about plates moving, bumping into each other, shifting. So a seismologist is a studier of earthquakes. Seismographs record waves, primary, secondary, and surface waves. Um, basically, that's kind of a very simplified picture though, um, but we have <laughs> like a pen hanging and um, if nothing is happening, it's going to leave a straight line. Um, if it gets bumped, then it's going to move in different directions and the bigger the lines it makes, the, the stronger the, the waves are. Um, when they talk about magnitude of an earthquake, it's the strength of it, um, and it's determined by how big those lines are on the seismograph. So um, if it swings a lot, uh, then it's going to have a high magnitude. Maybe it barely nut budges. It's going to have a low magnitude. Uh, the Richter scale um, describes the amount of energy released by the earthquake. Um, when you did your little research, you probably found that. Um, a 1 is really weak, a 10 um, is ridiculously strong and, and supposedly, from what I've read, um, impossible. I think a 9.5 or 9.6 is the highest one ever recorded. <coughs> um, an increase of 1 on the Richter scale is 30 times, or 32 times more powerful. So a 2 is 32 times more powerful than a 1. A 3 is 32 times more powerful than a 2. So it goes up pretty largely. Uh, Mercalli scale <coughs> um, basically shows um, how the earthquake would feel to you and the damage at your location. So Mercalli scale is more about damage. A Richter scale is more about the strength of the waves. Um, we may have talked about this in the past a little bit, but a tsunami uh, caused by earthquakes occurring under oceans. Tsunami caused by earthquakes under oceans. So um, Two plates bump into each other, cause a, basically a big splash, a big wave um, that um, across the ocean. Um, anytime there's an earthquake in the Pacific Ocean, <laughs> like uh, Japan in that area, um, a lot of times they're at danger of earthquakes, or uh, excuse me, tsunamis. Um, you don't need to write anything, but how can you minimize um, issues with earthquakes? Um, we don't really know this stuff much, but um, when you're somewhere where there's an earthquake, you should, you should know that that's a possibility. Um, put heavy objects close to the floor. Um, one big thing is on, during an earthquake when everything shifts, um, if you have gas appliances, a stove or whatever, um, those lines can break and that gas can leak, and then there can be explosions, <laughs> windows can break. That's it.